taken on Rolling Stones Beatles status. Manziel Madness has spawned the nickname Johnny Football. Johnny Football. Johnny Football. Johnny Football. When I got everything that I wanted, I think I was the most empty that I've ever felt inside. I think the way that I played quarterback was just a different kind of football. They couldn't stop it. He transcended college football and also sports. But I had a bone to pick with the NCAA. The organization continues to profit off student athletes. People have been making millions on the back of Johnny. I remember this guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, I've got 30 grand for you to sign autographs. And once that happened for the first time, it was like game on. After that, I saw a different side of him. When you take one step onto a slippery slope, it goes pretty quick. You have to be careful heaping too much expectations on a young man. Johnny, I saying it was win or lose, we booze. And it was real true. It was just direct self-sabotage. It was probably a $5 million bender. He had this fear in his eyes. The money and the fame is eating him alive. You have to look back and think, were you ever going to be satisfied? Was enough ever enough? Yeah, it's crazy. I feel like his his ascension and dissension was so rapid, you know, and all because, especially back then, he could have got paid millions and millions of dollars in college to play ball. Um, but I think that that would have hurt him playing football in college as a young man. But nevertheless, he would have made a lot of money um, in doing so playing in Texas A&M because that man was the truth. He beat us as far as LSU. He beat Alabama single-handedly, and that's what – really made him like okay yeah you are you are something different you are something special and he was mr football in texas they you know dubbed him johnny football like he had enough to get all the way to the top but uh, you know unfortunately he couldn't win you know the championship but he really had a really good career at texas a&m and won the heisman personal accolades everything got to the browns drafted i think number one so he had a huge payday um, getting to the Browns and that's when that was like a dissension and who he was and I remember he was just partying and partying and partying people were like this dude parties way too much um, he reminds me of Ryan Leaf where you know they just party and party and party and they crash out couldn't really perform on the field because you're partying too much you know you're not really focused on the game you're focused on the lifestyle and that was a dissension I, I know in here you know he talks about an attempt on his life and where it was it was you know it, was, it got that deep and I remember he was playing Canadian football he was out the league and you know he bounced around a little while and it, it was just everything sad that you would see happen to an athlete that was really good crash out like that you know and he's not the first and definitely would not be the last but I, I hope that you know young men playing football can see his story and be like that don't I, that don't need to be me you know what I'm saying so I can't wait for this. I can't wait to watch this. Comes out August 8th. I'm here for it. So, you guys enjoyed my reaction to Untold Johnny Football official teaser. Coming to Netflix August 8th. Subscribe to my channel. Post comment down below. Like the video. It's your boy, D. Dyson. Peace.